Bora TV. The world is thinking. Astronomical research in particular, which you'd think is the most useless of all the kinds of research, actually, I think, is a very good exemplar. First of all, it attracts people into science. If you look at UCAS forms for people applying to read physics degrees and maybe other degrees as well, what comes out time and time again, it was subjects like astronomy, cosmology, particle physics, the big ideas subjects that hooked these people when they were kids. And that's brought them into science. And they don't just come into physics because they've learned a bit of caution by the time they're sixth formers. And some of them go into engineering or computing or chemistry. Or, but it brings them into all kinds of science. Astronomy is also a topic that the public are keen to learn about. I've been in a situation of organising evening classes which the university forgot to advertise. <laughs> the evening classes ran anyway, such is the demand for astronomy talks. Perhaps less obviously, astronomical research drives industry and forces the development of new technology. Please, can you make us an even more sensitive CCD? And a good firm will say, yeah, we'll have a go. Because they have learned that four or five years down the line, somebody in their R&D department would say, do you remember that CCD we developed for those mad astronomers? We only sold them two. But if we just did this and this, it would be brilliant for next generation camera or something. So the demands that astronomers and indeed other research scientists make of industry is a real driver. People say, isn't it terribly expensive building telescopes that go on satellites? It all gets lost, launched into space and lost. Well, it does get launched into space, but as you well know, the majority of the cost was not on the bits of metal that got launched into space. The majority of the cost went on the salaries of the people who developed the equipment, and those people have not got launched into space. <laughs> Their skills have been developed and they're available for other projects of all sorts of kinds. And finally, of course, the bottom line, it increases our knowledge of how nature works. And in the long term, that, I think, is bound to be beneficial. It's a big mistake to think that uh, research must have an obvious end product. Knowledge of itself has a value, at least over the long term. <laughs>